Belize is a beautiful country in Central America, known for its vibrant culture, stunning natural beauty, and warm and friendly people. But let's be honest, you came for the women, and as you will see, they do not disappoint. First, women make up roughly half the country's population. With an estimated 185,000 women living in Belize, and more could be found living in the US and other Caribbean islands. Which means there's a high probability that you have bumped into one of them at your local shopping center or your favorite club. And one of the things you probably quickly noticed was how beautiful they are. I'm talking curvy pretty brown, my brother. And that could be tracked back to their mixed ethnicity, which is African, European, and indigenous. Also, fun fact, you can find Mayans and descendants of Germans living in Belize, which in my opinion creates a unique demographic. And for my guys who like shorter women, the average height is around 5 foot 1. So you'll have no problems carrying her to the altar. Which reminds me of a time when I had a friend who was dating a woman twice his size. And during a trip to the park to play some football, she decided to surprise him by jumping on his back. And I watched as this man's knees buckled, as he collapsed to the floor under all that weight. And I'll never forget how embarrassed that girl was. But if she was from Belize and around that average height, family, he wouldn't have any problem carrying her around town. And that's just food for thought. Now, another thing that most men would love about women from Belize is the fact that they're known for being outgoing and friendly. So you don't get this rude, stuck-up behavior. Just a friendly person who could hold a conversation. And from my experience, they have a phenomenal sense of humor. And that may be a product of their environment. Because the country is basically surrounded by Spanish-speaking countries. Yet the main language is English. So I think they're accustomed to properly communicating with other people. Which actually brings me to their ability to speak multiple languages. I mean, with that many demographics, you learn to get your point across. And that can help you when you're dating one of them. Because if both of you are going to travel to see the world, she can be a very effective communicator while you sit back and be the muscle. Now, another added bonus is their ability to be independent financially, which means the women know how to get to the money. Just imagine you take one of them out on a couple dinner dates and you reach to pay like you normally do, only to see her quickly grab the check and hand her card over. Wouldn't that leave you in complete shock? That is straight up grounds for a promotion. She is now known as executive wifey because I know my future children wouldn't have to deal with broke people. And speaking of children, they are very family oriented, which takes them out of the category of women who abandon their children. And with all the heartless behavior I've been seeing online, a woman from Belize is a blessing. So that means you'll be able to take her home to meet the family. And you won't have to worry for a second that she'll give the family attitude. They will most likely love her for years to come. And if y'all ever break up, you'll probably have to deal with them constantly bringing her back up in conversations like, what happened to that really nice girl you used to date? Which technically could be a bad thing, but I digress. And let's not forget about the food. Their cuisine is a delicious fusion of Caribbean, Maya, and Mexican flavors. And dating one of them means you'll get to experience it firsthand. I guarantee you're gaining 20 pounds the first six months. Family, you'll have a double chin in no time. And you'll love every minute of it. And only people who have dealt with somebody who can't cook know what I'm talking about. I remember this one girl that I was seeing couldn't even make toast. I must have lost like 100 pounds with this woman. But it was hard for me to leave because I didn't have a car and she was my ride. Family. I was basically a skeleton riding in a passenger seat. So that is definitely something I don't want you to go through. Now this next point about dating one of them is very important. Family, learn how to dance. Now if you notice the trend in most of my videos, I always bring this up. And that is because most cultures use it like some form of communication. Which means if you're at least decent in it, you have one foot in the door. And trust me, she'll just be happy that you tried. Because in Belize, they put a priority on hospitality. So nobody's gonna make you feel bad for being yourself. This is not a shallow culture. This is simply a beautiful and rich one. But if you truly want to be successful, you have to equip yourself with more knowledge. And the only way you'll be able to do that is by clicking on that video that just popped up. And I'll see you on the next one.